Right, boys, how are we doing? Um, obviously, as you can see, we're, we're joined here by Ryan Huddart, Matt Reed, Christian Pierce. We're going through um, the best 11 players, boys, that you lot have played with throughout your career. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of the teams. Obviously, we've got Reedy and Pierce. I expect some decent players because obviously been at some good clubs, had a good career, um, been part of promotion winning teams. And then you've got Huddart, who was at Arsenal when he was about six months old. So he will probably be... You just you, is yours just the invincibles, just the invincibles <laughs> isn't it? Just the invincibles, and that and that be you done. Five seconds done. Yeah. Um, who wants to kick us off, lads? Because obviously we'll, we'll just go through them. Obviously, all we're looking for pick your start in eleven. Um, you can chuck yourselves in it if you want, but other than that, just be your best eleven players at any formation. Doesn't matter, but just give a little brief, brief um, description of why of that of the player if if we know him, if we don't know him, and sort of why you've chosen them. And maybe where you played with them at as well. Anyone want to kick us off first? Do you want me to start? Go on, I don't play away, yeah. You're first. You're, you can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Your okay, so uh, I'm going to go. I'll kick us off, mate. I'm going to go three-five-two, champ. Oh, I love it. Um, in goal, it's tough because obviously that's my position, and I've trained and played with some. Very good goalies. Um, but for me, standout is Peter Chet by Country Mile. Um, <laughs> my reason for why, my reason for why he, he's my goalie is um, because he just he doesn't make mistakes. And when he does, the old mistake, he'll be able to get over it straight away and will be great the next game. Um, he doesn't let things bother him. That's why. Wow, that is massive, mate. Straight in with no, no banter though, right? In training and that, what was what was he like? To be honest with you, he wasn't the best trainer I've ever trained with. As in, like his saves in training, make good saves, but he wasn't outstanding. Um, he was just good every day. He was seven out of ten every day. Yeah. Uh, probably the best trainer I've ever trained with was either Fabianski or Wojciech Szczesny. Were by far the, they were unbelievable every day. Really? Um, but then in matches, they wouldn't sometimes be as consistent. Um, and that's where I think Peter Cech was in a different level um, like that. You've plucked him out. One of the best keepers in the Premier League's ever seen. <laughs> yes, that was a struggling. <laughs> you, really got someone, you got someone from Bromley at right back. <laughs> uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up a little bit. Go on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with my right back to start off with. I'm going to say, because we played in the same youth team, I'm going to say Hector Bellerin is the best right back I've ever played with. That wing back, is this? Or... Yeah, right wing back. Yeah. I'll play him. Um, my reason for that is that probably he's the best from people that I know that's gone and had a great career. Um, he's really fulfilled his potential. Um, and I think he's an all round great professional. He's had some bad injuries and got over them. Um, he's definitely my wing back. Centre halves. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Per Mertesacker to start. Uh, with Perr, yeah, what the central one, surely. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the big German to start. Um, nice. My reason for choosing him is because he's just for someone who isn't the quickest isn't the most mobile, technically isn't the most gifted on the ball. Um, he's really got every single last percent out of himself to get to the level he did. And um, that's why he's, so, I mean, he makes up for that in different qualities as a leader and bosses people around and really does get the most out of everyone around him. Um, that's why he would be my centre-back and my captain. As a, uh, as a person, right? What did you get to know him much? What was yeah, like? yeah, I did. Yeah, we. I was with him probably most days for about three years. Um, when I was on the bench in the Champions League, he played. Oh, um, oh. No, he, oh. Was very, he was very oh. good. He was very, very good. He was excellent. <laughs> sniff. Was that a little sniff as well? <laughs> really can't believe what he's hearing. He's put his headphones on. <laughs> this all's done, or what? What's going on here? Um, normal people as well. I would choose, 
Uh, other centre halves, I will have Jack Holland from Bromley. Oh, cool. Are they stuck Holland in there with Perma Asaka? Yeah, I'd choose Jack. Jack, I'd choose because he was another good leader that I've that I played with myself regularly. I played under Jack. And um, I think he's just a great lad to have around the dressing room. And at this level, I think he's a real good tip player you could have in that I would have in my dressing room. Um, I'd probably Piercy, unfortunately, I haven't played with you, so I can't I can't <laughs> choose you. I would choose you, champ. Um as my, other than my other centre half. Um, the season I played with you, champ, you were very steady. You got me out of shit a few times. So <laughs> Yeah, I will be choosing you. Um, left wing back, I'm not going to choose Femi. Uh, <laughs> You're not going with Femi? No, I'm not going with Femi. Uh, I'm going to go with Kieran Gibbs instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, my reason for that is he's, I think he's been one of the most unsung fullbacks Arsenal have had in the last few years. I think he's been absolutely excellent for Ar in his time that he was at Arsenal. I think he's been a good fullback for West Brom. And I would definitely have him in my team. As a lad as well, top lad, not outspoken and gives 100%. My midfield. My midfield, I'm going to go in holding midfield. I'm going to go with Abu Diaby. Yeah. Now, he is the most talented, gifted football player I've ever seen. Wow. As in, he would knock people over, he'd make tackles, he'd be able to score goals. And unfortunately, through injury, he just never played enough games. He had a, like he had a season or two, didn't he, where he was un yeah. unreal. But I, he, I trained with him a lot where he'd be coming back from injury and he'd train and, um, with the reserves or he'd train on his own sometimes. And, and he was absolutely outstanding. And to be honest, someone that's had that many injuries and he would keep coming back. Um, he's got. He had an unbelievable mentality uh, to yeah, keep wanting to come back time and time again. I've got to be honest. At the minute, Jack Holland doesn't like. like doesn't know how lucky he is. <laughs> <laughs> you have got Jack Holland surrounded by fucking World Cup winners. Uh, who else should I have? I would have. Uh, I'd actually have Frankie Raymond in midfield. Um, I was with Frank last year at Bromley. He was very good. Great set-piece taker. That's why I put him in, in the team. He's got a great left foot. I can uh, name a couple of Boreham Wood midfielders that are going to be fuming with you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you stuck Frankie Raymond in. Yeah, no, I played Frank. He was a 100%er for me. Um, and he, we scored a lot of goals from his free kicks. Where I it, reckon me to Sacre be able to get a few, wouldn't he? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what That's thinking? what I'm thinking, Reedy. Really. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, no, I think it would work quite well. Um, so, yeah, Frank and I'd play, alongside him, I'd play Jack Wilshere in midfield. Ah, uh, there he is. <laughs> Here play, we go. I'd play is. Jack in midfield. Jack can't take free kicks, so that's why I play Frank. <laughs> um, so, that's my midfield. Going with Abu Diaby, Frankie Raymond and Jack Wilshere. My front three. Hang on a minute. Back. Front two, surely. You said 5-3-2, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. 3-5-2. You've got 5-3-3. You've got three, three. No. Ran out of spaces. <laughs> I was playing no keeper. You said 3-5-2. You said three, okay. five, you said three, two up five, front. Two. two up front. I go with two up front. I've got one on the bench, actually. Oh, you've got um, one on the bench. Yeah, you couldn't, couldn't <laughs> put tennis, couldn't <laughs> tennis on the bench. Um, um, I'm going to go with up front. I'm going to go with Alexi Sanchez. Oh, my God. And I'm going to play Olivier Giroud. Now, the reason I think them two complement each other quite well, um, I think Alexis, to be honest with you, is the most all-round best trainer I've ever seen in my life. Uh, he'd do things that I've never seen anyone do before. He had me on my ass every day. <laughs> he had me no, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that's not a surprise, mate, to be fair. Um, and Olivier Giroud, just for his work rate and what he'd bring to that level. Um, at that level, he, he could really bring something different at times, where so many teams try and play through the thirds. And he enabled you to go front to back well. He was very good at holding it up. Um, at that, and I think that's a real plus for him at that level, because there ain't that many players that can do it at the top. Um, and that's why I choose him. Uh, have, you got all the, have you got all their numbers, mate? Yeah. 
<laughs> all saved, yeah. Do you run on? Would they pick up and go, hello, Ryan? No, I've saved them and then I've saved them again on another phone, just in case. <laughs> Don't forget me. Don't forget me, please. Yeah. Right, so who did you have on the bench? Huh? Yeah. Who did you bench. have on the bench? I had uh, on the bench, I actually had uh, Lucas Podolski on the bench. Podolski? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough, mate. And Ralston Gabriel. Do you know him? <laughs> <laughs> mate, unbelievable. What a team. Boys, nice, right. Right. Yeah. cheers. Yeah. No worries. Stitch does all up there. Cheers. <laughs> Everyone, I'm not sure. Does does um does sharing a sharing a training ground count with them? Then I'm not yeah, sure. it does, yeah. Does it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Sharing a squad does. No, mate, it's unbelievable. Listen, what a team! You've got the privilege to work up close to some of them players. So not not banter aside, unbelievable for you to have seen them players up close and personal, mate. And probably not asked you enough about your time there because that some of the names you've reeled off there are unbelievable. Um, mate, what a team. Okay, Ryan, moving on. Reedy, Re Re you're next on my screen, so let's just, let's come yeah. to you, mate. We'll so start. Obviously, my <laughs> team's mainly going to be Lincoln players. So that's where uh, yeah. we, we had a good run, basically. Um, yeah. We, we had quite a solid team, so uh, we won the league and did well in the FA Cup. So, in goal, there's quite you've a few. because you've, under you've undersold yourself there, though, Reedy. What was it? Two promotions in two years or three years? Uh, three. Two and three, and FA Cup quarter final, wasn't it? Yeah, check a dream. That game. Yeah, what, what a period for Lincoln that was! Unbelievable, mate. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Really watch Reedy on the Emirates pitch, that was quite hard for me. Eyes, love it. Go on, Reedy. Start, start us yeah, off. So first, is obviously, it's tough. I've got a uh, Mansfield, we got promotion. I got Alan Marriott, who's a great keeper at this level, uh, and in the league as well. But I'm going to go for poor form, and I think, uh. I think the Cowleys mentioned that uh, we had the best pass ratio because he used to do like booming, like massive kick. Yeah, he used to land it in the 18 yard box, yeah. So uh, I think we had one of the highest passing percentages in our team at the time. So we had a good relationship and some of the saves he made, and especially the FA Cup games, was, were phenomenal. And when you need a goalkeeper to step up and perform, he was always there. So yeah, Paul Farman. Him, uh, him, and, him and you, mate, unbelievable combo at that level. Yeah. Like because yeah. I mean obviously I got to play with you for a little bit, a few months on loan or a month or so on loan on loan. Obviously played against you loads as well, and he did have the biggest kick ever. Yeah. And you could just stand in a spot and he'd put it on top of you. You couldn't defend it. You just, uh, it was unreal yeah. weapon to have. Yeah, definitely. I think we utilised it to the to the maximum as well. To be fair, so uh, yeah, he goes in just because he's got a massive kick basically. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, it's unbelievable in that type the period. Uh, proper professional, nice lads, superb. Yeah, so he goes in number one. It's a four four one one. Nice. Um, at right back, uh, the the not probably the second uh, the second season at Lincoln was Neil Eardley. Um, yeah, unbelievable. Technically superb. Played in the Premiership. Yeah, uh, just had felt like he had five minutes more than everybody else. Delivery perfect for me. Like Crossy's coming in all the time. I think he set quite a few goals up here in that in that season that we played who, together. Who so did he playing the prem for uh, Blackpool? Did he? Yeah, and, um, under Neil Holloway, some great stories to be fair. <laughs> like he loved his time there, and yeah, yeah, so he goes in just basically always in the right position. Not really quick, but delivery was frightening. Um, yeah. Then obviously uh, the two centre-offs from Lincoln during the Cup run were Waterfall, Raggett. They both, we yeah. got promoted that season, I think. We got over 10 goals each for a centre-off. was unbelievable. Yeah. So uh, yeah. the, both of them are gaining, yeah, definitely goals and clean sheets. They took pride in defending. The the also had like a better who scored the most goals as well. So the competition was there for both of them and they've both gone on to do, do well now. Like So yeah, straight in. Raggett. When, when Raggett went to Pop Portsmouth, didn't they? Is it Portsmouth now? Yeah, Norwich. He signed for Norwich oh, from Moors and then yeah. they loaned him out to a few teams. I think, uh, uh, yeah, he's at Portsmouth now. I'm not sure if he's on loan or signed full-time, but yeah, every day he brought competitiveness. Like We had so many battles and training, as you probably remember that, but yeah, he was proper competitive, wanted to win everything and he was superb, to be fair, in that period that we had him. Um, I remember scoring goal, him scoring goals for fun. He's like he's an absolute yeah. unit and the biggest head ever as well, and he massive. Yeah, yeah. Just he obviously scored the goal at, uh, at Burnley when we beat Burnley, so he has to go in no matter what. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 
yeah, superb centre, two centre halves, big solid centre halves. Uh, left back's a tough one because we had Sam Habergam, uh, superb, just an injury prone. That was all. But uh, after the Cowboys got, he was injured for a period of time. They brought Harry Toffolo in. Yeah. Um, is it now Huddersfield? Captain Huddersfield, unbelievable. Like he's doing five k in fifteen minutes and stuff like that. Frightening his energy and delivery and quality and uh, proper work rate every day in training. He'd, he'd give hundred percent and he, he was a proper good left back and he'll go on to do better things. I'm sure. He's at Huddersfield now, is he? I didn't know that. Did he get a move? Yeah. Where did he get a move from? From uh, Cowley's took him from Lincoln to Huddersfield. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. No, now he's captain, like even though they've gone, so it just shows how, how I think he was at Norwich as a kid, yeah. And he's there, yeah, he's there now, so that's a really good move for him. And like I say, he's captain, so that's I speak to him about Stolber quite a lot, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, yeah. They, they're both, they're both doing well, yeah. So, brilliant, nice. So, moving on to the midfield, go on, then. I'm gonna have to pick me good old mate from Mansfield, it's, it's Stoke now, Sam Clucas on the left. Oh, Clucas. Um, yeah. I remember doing a pre-season, I don't know if you know Paul Cox, uh, he was the Mansfield manager when yeah. I first signed there and it, it was like a proper old school running track two weeks pre-season. And him, him and Colin Daniel, uh, we did 20 laps around a 400 metre track and uh, they, so we, they're both, unbelievably, both of us ended up on 10 each and they had to do a one-off race, him and Colin Daniel, Colin Daniel was an absolute unbelievable yeah. runner. So one went one way, one went the other, and Klukas absolutely smashed him, just like frowning. He did it in like 48 seconds after we'd done like 20 runs. It was incredible. I remember um, I've played with someone who's played with him, and I've heard stories about that before, about how like ridiculous, like athlete, like in terms of yeah, how fit he was, was just a joke, how fit. He came from Glen Oddles Academy, like he went there and then went to Hereford, and we signed him from Hereford. At, at Mansfield and he, his feet and his the way he could run forever. It reminded me of Hardy when he was in the in the conference. Yeah. Just like never looked tired, like fast, just can, can sprint everywhere basically. So and now he's at Stoke, I've got picking, so that's the reason for that. <laughs> so um moving on to the midfield, he uh it'd have to be Gary Roberts, not the Gary Roberts at Chesterfield, the the Gary Roberts who was at Chester now, but he was at crew and he was he, played, he was the captain of England under 21s. Bit of a, a bit of a nutcase, really. Like, boy, uh, he likes his beer, and but he used to not tra ever train and then turn up on a Saturday. The manager did really well with him, really, because he just looked after him. Like, he'd say, Oh, I'll see you next week, and he'd just turn up when he wanted, but he'd be the best player every week. Really? Yeah, I think uh, Cardiff paid, offered a million pounds to crew for him, and he, he rejected it. And he used to he used to turn up. We trained once on a Sunday, and he turned up. He couldn't speak, and he was the best player on the pitch by an absolute mile. Like hitting crossbars on the off volleys and stuff. Like, I love stories like that. Like it's there's it's, everyone knows a player like that that can just oh. literally turn it on. Like yeah. and live probably like they've got like off the pitch. Maybe just you know don't do it right or whatever, but have just got this like ability to just switch. Yeah. Everyone's got a story of a player like that, haven't they? But, yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, he was, he was definitely the best midfield I've ever seen. Like, imagine, imagine if he was sober, he would have been even better. But <laughs> um, yeah, so he goes in. We we won the league. He was midfield at Mansfield and super play. Uh, got a bit of everything, to be fair. Next to him is going to be Alex Woodyard. Yeah, a bit of a ratty midfielder, but um, he did a job for Lincoln, like second balls, and he'd never ever give a fall away. Like he just run next to people and like running down to play. Like a technique, run the ball out to play and. He used to gate back and he could keep the ball. Uh, and, and the team, the way we played, he was absolutely perfect for second balls. And mm. he secured the play quite a lot. And he was yeah, very good at proper engine on him, even though like pre-season, he wouldn't be the best runner, which was mad. Yeah. But, but I remember ball. him because obviously at Lincoln, he was flying and then he got a move, didn't he? But I, I, feel like, I know a lot of clubs were looking at him. At Peterborough, around yeah. He went Peterborough, yeah. And then... Trummy. It didn't quite go like great at Peterborough, did it? Because no. I thought everyone was saying, you know, he's going to go on and on. Right. Um, it didn't quite happen. And now he's back. At, is he? Is he gone to Wimbledon now? Somewhere like that. Uh, he's at AFC Wimbledon, yeah, now. Yeah, Wimbledon. So he's yeah. still doing all right, League One. So yeah, yeah. still doing well. Probably. Nice lad as well, I could say. But he used to work really hard for the team, and I think every team needs one of them. Don't they? He was getting sitting and graft, so he was perfect yeah. for us. On the right, oh, it's a tough one. Um, I'm going to go for Nathan Arnold. Uh, the season yeah. that we we did, did well for Lincoln, he was he, he scored some very important goals. I think his second top goal scorer in the in in our team, and 
yeah, he scored a great goal against Ipswich. He'd break away in the FA Cup, scored, and he had a chance at Arsenal that Ryle probably tell you about because he was there watching it. Uh, <laughs> it check saved, but um, no, he was a great player and scored some uh, promotion winning goals, uh, even away at Grimsby in the last minute, uh, Gateshead in the last minute, took one on his chest and put it top bin and moments yeah. like that. Ipswich round your keeper, so that was superb. I uh, I played with him. He was at Cambridge with me before that Lincoln time. He got promoted yeah. with us at Cambridge, and he was he was one that was like, yeah, everyone has the story. Of the players in training like yeah. could do stuff like out of nowhere. He would pull off yeah, like he was some best goal I've ever seen in training. He had, he would sort of just be like, how's he done that? But he, yeah. Um, yeah, no, he was he was good. Obviously athletic, quick, but tricky. He scored quite a few goals for us as well at Cambridge when we yeah. went. Out. So, yeah, good, good, yeah, definitely. Um, up front. I'm going to go for Matt Green. I don't, you would have played against him, I would have thought. Uh, striker was at Mansfield when we got promotion, scored 26 goals, went Birmingham. Yeah. Scored quite a few in the championship, but got a, a bad injury. Uh, ended up coming back to Mansfield, but uh, never the really same player yet. Like I say, he had the tough injuries at Grimsby now. Came to Lincoln when I was there, did okay. Put him on the wing, did a job. Our grafter scores goals, yeah, so did really well. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and then, Who's your, who's, your, who's your other one up top? Game go for Lee Stevenson. You probably won't know him, but... Uh, oh, you should have played yourself, Reedy. God, be you up there, Reedy. No, not in that Farnham, team. Farnham's boom yeah. on you. So, Lee Stevenson, yeah. So, uh, he was at Mansfield. Uh, Eastwood, when I first was there, scored 24 goals from number 10. Went to Eastwood, scored... Uh, went to Mansfield, scored quite a lot of goals. Good friend of mine, so he's got, he's got to go in. <laughs> Simple as <laughs> <laughs> that. Any cheerleaders in that team? Nice. There's, there are probably quite a few at Lincoln that, because um, I remember, I mean, even when um, I was there, Matt, uh, Marriott was there, wasn't he? Who else? I'm yeah. trying to think of strikers during that time. Obviously, Matt Green. Who, who, who else scored the goals? Liam Ian was there, but he got injured. Uh, I don't know if Liam Ian, he was conference for a bit. Yeah. Got injured too much, didn't really play. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah Kindy's in there, one he, but I think Green's scored more goals. But yeah. it's a tough one. Yeah. Nice. Nice, Reedy. Love it, mate. No, no Arsenal players, unfortunately, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not got Cazorla in the middle. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> proper footballers. Love it. Proper, proper footballers. <laughs> no, mate. Successful teams. Obviously, all, all of them that you've played with there have, have all had. Yeah. Decent careers as well, haven't they? I've gone on to so love it, mate. Quality, really love that. Um, Piercy, mate, what have you got Here for us? Go. Oh, oh, Piercy, okay, so I've gone for a He's four, four, three, three. four, three, three. Love it, yeah. Um, I've got in goal to be fair, every position it was it was quite hard to pick because I've I've had the luxury of playing with a lot of good players, so yeah, in goal, I've gone for Alex Smithies. Who is now at QPR, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I played with him at England and at Hoddersfield. So nice. I know him quite well. Um, but yeah, he's he was an all around quality keeper, and even penalty saving, he he was he was he's the best penalty saver I've, I've seen. So that's why he got the nod over. I had Jason still as as the backup. Oh, yeah. Good. So I played with them both at England, but. Because I played with him at club level as well, I think I just got to give him the nod. So nice. I've got maybe in goal um, at wow. right back. Um, I was gonna go for Lee Pal Paltier, who I played with at Huddersfield as well. Yeah, I think he's at West Brom now as well. Brom, but I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna go with my good friend Hayden White, who I played with at Mansfield. Um, he he was easily one one of the best players in the team before he got that got um an injury which ended his season um we was flying that season as well probably should have went up we ended up that, that when was that Chrissy? what sort of year are we talking there that was 1819 season i believe oh, yeah not too long ago so yeah, yeah. where's he now he's like, still there now he's at he's at warsaw now awesome yeah but um yeah, I think if, if he didn't get injured, I think we would have went on and probably won the league. But yeah, he he was a big miss to the team. So I've put him at, at right back. Yeah. Um, at centre back, I've gone with Reese Bennett, who I played with at Mansfield as well. Um, he was there the season before and he played every single game and was pretty much man of the match every week. Like he was 
he was quality every 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 game. So I've had to put him in there. Um, left side centre back, I've gone with Ben Mee. Nice. He's obviously at Burnley. Yeah. Um, I I had a, had a chance to play with him at England level. Um, in the on, what do you like because obviously uh, watching, watching games, especially like in the Prem, you don't get. You know, there's so many other players that would catch your eye before someone like that. Do you know what I mean? Before Ben yeah. Mee, but you don't actually realise how good these players are, do you? Until you've obviously, if you've played with them or come up against them, like you know, no one watching would would think what a player he, he is. But obviously, playing alongside him, what was what was his his sort of game? What made him stand out? Is because he was he was very. He does he does exactly what you, you expected to do as a centre back. He doesn't try anything fancy he knows what what he's good at and mm. sticks to it he keeps everything simple keeps the game ticking and he's he's a lot better on the board than people think as well so yeah. when it is time to play he can still play yeah but he's also he can do the dirty work as well and he's not scared to put his head in places and and, and do all the, the nasty side of the game so that's why I've, I've gone with him because yeah. there was there was a few options I could have could have threw in there, but I'm not going to name drop like a certain other people. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, yeah. Like, player, though, like you said, playing week in, week out in the Prem and obviously, yeah, like like you say, when, when people watch, you don't get an understanding of how good these players actually are. Like, And then you, you might come up against them in a cup run or pre-season friendly and it's always the players that you think, oh, like, you know, watching the Prem, they don't stand out, but what what players they all, they all are. Yeah. Yeah, so um, at left back, um, I also play with Kieran Gibbs, but I've also played with Danny Rose, and and my first choice lost his name. Who did I pick? Didn't go with Danny Rose. Um, no, I'm going with Ryan Bertrand. Oh, wow! Wow! wow. I was I was say, it, has to be, it has to be decent if he keeps Danny Rose out of the team. He's got to be decent. For me, he's he's one of the the most underrated left backs in the Prem. Yeah. Um, I think he's. He's more of actual defender than the other two as well, because I, I actually played in in the game where Danny Rose and Kieran Gibbs both played their first game at left back because they both started out as midfielders. So I actually played with them when they played their first game at left back. So uh, neither of them had the best of games. So, <laughs> so it looked uh, after. Him. <laughs> so um, Ryan Bertrand, he he was like the new Ashley Cole at the time, like he up and coming coming at from Chelsea. So yeah. Yeah, he he was he was like a mini Ashley Cole. So for me, Ashley Cole was the best of a left back. So I've got to go with Ryan Bertrand at left back. Wow, love that! What a player. Um, in you still in touch with any of these lads now, Piercy? Pardon? You still in touch with any of these lads now? Um, the Mansfield boys, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Prem boys. Hang, are, uh, didn't hang on to you. Didn't hang on to Bertrand's number then, no. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> We weren't that close, so. <laughs> but yeah, um, into midfield. Oh, I, I was gonna go with Edgar Davids at, oh. at, at Barnet, but. Do you play with Barnet, him at Barnet? Yeah, I was with him at Barnet. Me and then. So um, yeah, I will. I was gonna go with him, but when when obviously he was at Barnet, he wasn't the same yeah. Edgar Davids that we know. So, yeah. instead, I've gone with Andre Bucard, who I played with oh, at Nats County, oh, and. Yeah. Like, obviously, um, I think he was a full international, went to the some major tournaments with Trinidad. Mm. Um, but on the boy, he was he was one of the best I've seen. He used to just treat it like he was playing in a park with his friends. And yeah. I know, I think he'd done futsal as well. And it, and it showed because his qualities were, were a joke. No one could get the ball off him, strong as an ox. And even though we weren't blessed with pace, blistering pace or anything like that, he never really got exposed. He, he was always had time and space on the ball, and always had the eye for a pass. So, yeah, I've got I've I've got him as my my deep line playmaker. Yeah, what a player! I've played against him a lot. Like most people around the levels have come up against him, I think. And he was yeah, he was frightening on the ball. Like you give it to him under yeah. pressure, and he looked like he just played at his own tempo. Would have the ball anywhere. Unbelievable technique. Yeah, he was he was a proper player. Yeah. And then my two central midfielders, I've gone with Jacob Mellis, who I was at Mansfield with. Obviously, he came through at Chelsea as well. Um, I think played a couple of games in their first team. And to be honest, if it, I think more so 
the off-field stuff is what's stopped him from reaching his full potential because ability-wise, I think he's he's good enough to be Champions League level, not just Premier League, but the highest highest level. That's how high I rated him. So that's why I had to put him in there. Um, and alongside him, I've gone with Henry Lansbury. Yeah. Uh, another Arsenal boy. Um, Where'd you play with him? Where'd you I play with him? Well. So, um, nice. And also, also, I play with him at club level at Scunthorpe as well when we got promoted there. So, yeah, he, he done he don't well for us at, Sc- at Scunny. And he also... Oh, battery's low. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, at England for England, he was he was by far the best player in my opinion. He was he was he was a joke with the ball, without the ball, he could do everything. So, yeah, Henry has to has to be the bit of a bit of a character off the pitch as well, isn't he? I've heard. Yeah, so him and Jacob are, are a bit bit similar in that sense. So, I think ability wise, they're both top level, but um, obviously off the field, they're a bit. Bit of a cannon. Loose cannon. I don't want to. I don't want to go into too much details. Getting into one, anyone trouble. So no, exactly. No, no, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it there. Go on. Um, then. What's your strike? Strike force. So my front three, I've gone with Victor Moses on the right. Wow. Um, Danny Welbeck on the left. Ooh. And Daniel Sturridge up front. Oh wow! Oh, what a front three that is. Yeah. So that's that's. That's the the best three I've worked with. I've, I've worked with a lot of good strikers and forward players, but was them that, three. Was that England level. What? What? Um. Where? Like Welbeck and those boys. Where did you play with? Some, with some of them, Sturridge. Yeah. So, um, Welbeck and and Victor Moses were in my England age group. Um, but because I did, I played with them at the under seventeen World Cup, and because I did well at that World Cup, then the following year. They moved me up to the under 19s age, which was Daniel Sturridge's age group, Ben Me, um, James Tompkins, Kieran Clark. Um, so yeah, that's where I play with storage, and obviously that's where I play with nice. yeah. what a front three that is. Fire yeah, yeah. fun. Yeah, so that's out of those three would be standout. It's obviously all gone on to have unbelievable careers, unbelievable careers, actually thinking about it, all three of them, but yeah. If you had to pick one of all, all of those three, who would be who would you say would be the best? At the time when I played with them, I would have said Victor Moses. Now I would say Daniel Sturridge. Sorry. But I would also say Danny Welbeck's the most underrated out of the three. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't think people realise how much he actually he does for for the team and what it, what qualities he's actually got. Whereas because because the other two have scored goals and and they're a bit more flamboyant and yeah. entertainers, they get a bit more of the, the limelight. So when like some of those players, like obviously he was at Arsenal for so long, you got and Ars- when Arsenal started having a bit of a bad time, they always had a player that would like seem to get a bit of stick. And like there was a time when Welbeck used to get stick. Yeah. And like and the, maybe because he's just been at the club for so long, I don't know what it is. And then you people forget how good they are just because they start getting a bit of stick from fans who sort of getting on their back. Maybe the team's not doing well or whatever. And it sort of takes away from it. It's like Walcott sort of happened with him a, a little bit as well, didn't it? People start sort of jumping on the bandwagon and sort of not, and you just don't realise how good these players actually are. Like Welbeck and like like you said, what his attributes are like, obviously still playing in the Prem now. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Unbelievable team, mate. What a team that was. Oh. Superb, Piercy. Love it. Boys, that was a pleasure. Um, we um, we always finish off. We do like a little uh, a little challenge. I haven't told any of you about it because didn't want you to didn't want you to um, get a head start, start thinking about things in your mind, right? So yeah. the one that we've done last week is called like the category game. You'll know it. It's a quick fire. It's only going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to choose a category and you boys have just got to say uh, a um, one thing from that category. So if I said... Um, so last week we did National League football clubs yeah so if it starts with Ryan you just have to name one National League football club then Reedy then Piercy and it would just keep going keep going keep going until someone paused or hesitated or whatever and then you're out 
Okay, so that sound, sounds easy. So we could do we could do anything. You could do car brands or like car makes or models or whatever. And it's just quick thinking games. So you just got to reel them off. If you pause for longer than five seconds, you're done. And then it will be a head to head between the two that are still left. I'm glad you picked Ryan. Are you with are you with me? <laughs> yeah. So we'll start off. I'm going to name a topic. What are we going to go with? Let's go with. Oh. Okay. So your topic is sports brands. Okay, so like sports brands. So like the one I'm wearing here, for example. Okay, so Ryan, because you're on my screen first, it will start with you, then go Reedy, then go Piercy. Okay, and then it will just keep going in that order until someone pauses, until someone's out. Okay, ready, Ryan? I'm ready. You already start us off. Let's go. Puma. Nike. Adidas. Reebok. Sondico. Asics. Umbro. Mitre. Ah. Piercy, done. He's out. He's done. Yeah, I'm, Five I'm seconds. Out. Tell you what, that standard was unbelievable. Right. Right. Starting straight back with you. Oh, same thing. Same thing. Oh, same God. thing. Got to keep going until you can't think of any more. Right. Start us back off. Sondico. No, no, had it. Had it. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Sorry. <laughs> it's already gone. <laughs> really, I'm by gonna say Jim Shark. <laughs> you had a few, to be fair. You guys, last week they were a shambles. The, the lads that did National League football clubs, they were struggling. Wow. Two or three. That was pretty decent, to be fair. I had a few in my mind. I was gonna go Lecoq Sportif. Oh, that would have been great. I was thinking of all the boots or like Diodora or, yeah, there's a few, few shouts out there. But Ryan, yeah, yeah, yeah. through default, really, really, you take victory there, mate. Take that all day. Love it. Well done, really. Boys, been a pleasure. Superb lads. Unbelievable teams. I'm sure they'll be put up on social media. People will vote for the best. Ryan, we might have to take yours out just because... Uh, <laughs> I actually team. think I actually think Piercy's team would beat mine. Piercy's oh, team. Oh wow, that's yeah. the manager. That's yeah, the manager. I actually, team. Think, <laughs> I actually <laughs> think Piercy's team would beat mine. Piercy's got a very good team. Piercy's team is unbelievable as well. Yeah, yeah. Reedy's team. <laughs> Reedy's team. Put it this way: I don't think per per Mertesacker and Jack Holland wouldn't know what's hitting with Farnham and Reed. That's what was worrying. No, the thing that's worrying me is like. Moses, Welbeck up against Jack and Pear. I mean, they'd be like, yeah, stick it on, on like Jack all the time. The shout would be there everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> boys, love it. Boys, it's been a pleasure taking enough of the time. Cheers for joining us, boys. We'll um, we'll obviously catch up soon. Been a pleasure. Great teams. No worries, champ. Yes. Cheers, Cheers, boys. Boys. Thanks for watching Champs Corner. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow our BW Pace Academy and First Team Instagram page.